back with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a new dark man video you guys actually i've seen in the comments have been requesting that i react to more dark man so we're going to do so and this one is called uh brookside high school oh, okay this is like an episode thing but it is called school bully paralyzes student okay okay this sounds uh kind of crazy if if you're getting paralyzed by a student in high school then like they're, they're going to be facing serious time after committing a crime like that, whether they're under the age of 18 or not. I'm pretty sure. Before we dive into this, if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel, link will be in the description down below. I am posting a video over there later on tonight after this. So if you guys would like to go check that out, I will greatly appreciate it. And thank you guys for all the support I've been receiving over there in general. It truly means a lot. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel with notifications turned on. That way you do not miss any of the uploads. And without further ado, let's dive into my man's getting paralyzed by a high school bully. It sounds crazy absolutely crazy all right we're here oh look there's a library right down the street this Extended seemed like very i would never That's go to a library street. in this kind of area <laughs> look i know this isn't as big as our other place but that just means that it's nice and cozy right you can call a dump like this cozy. This happens all the time, all over the place, man. Mom just trying to provide for her son, being a single mother, and uh, unfortunate situations and circumstances, man. Oh, damn, so he's already been paralyzed? The dad again? for a second. Yeah. I'm Naomi. I don't think I've. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I've never been to a place like, like. Okay, so this looks like some like real ghetto, ghetto type area. Like I've been in the hood before. I've been in the ghetto, obviously. Like coming from nothing, growing up and stuff. But I've never seen this kind of a ghetto in real life. Like where like they, they have the green lights and shit. You know, on the outside on the stairs or even in the hallway. Sometimes I've never seen that kind of a ghetto in real life. My son, Khalil. Well, welcome to the building. Uh, I'm Pastor Paul. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm just, uh, away. <laughs> God bless. He was really nice. <clears throat> Not like our old neighbors. <laughs> Can you please just unlock the door? Sure, sweetheart. Yeah, he definitely like got a lot place. of emotions for sure like, if he got paralyzed like by a bully. a strong word. Place is a dump. Can't be that bad. Yeah, maybe not to the homeless people camping outside the building. If it wasn't for me, we'd still be in our house across town. My mom's trying to be all positive and stuff, which only makes things worse. But she's miserable too. <laughs> but she's trying to be strong for you, young man. blood. That's what a mother's yeah, job is, you feel me? Yeah. Sure, she doesn't love paying my medical bills, though. Enough about me. Can't believe you guys made it to states. You must be stoked. Oh, uh, I actually don't think I'll be able to go. What? Why not? Uh, Coach said we all need a pair own way, and uh, my pops just lost his job, so we don't have any money to fly me out. <laughs> my parents didn't even have any money to buy me a new pair of cleats for football this year. <laughs> so I've been hey, Cooper. I'm wide open! Hey! Watch it! Oh, hey! Yo, my bad, man! Did I mess up your sneaks? Oh, I mean, you look pretty terrible already. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think you actually. Bro. Dog. I know we watching a Dark Man video. You twice their size, bro. Beat they ass. <laughs> Beat they ass. <laughs> okay, I know it's not always good to respond with violence, but nah, nah, nah. Enough is enough. Beat they ass. <laughs> I'm just back in the place. 
Oh, uh, junior goons got anything better to do, Dom? Uh, <laughs> did you guys hear something? Like, okay, nah. Person. Yeah, he definitely not. Nah. If he was lost. like, if this happened in real life, bro would definitely get his ass beat messing with somebody in a wheelchair, bro. Hey, oh man, you, you scared us. I didn't even see you down there. Yeah, me neither. Nice ride, man. What's that? Four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, maybe even a backup camera? <laughs> That's not funny, guys. Get out of here with that crap. You know, I know what's funny is that Khalil here thought that he could actually go pro one day. Looks like he learned his lesson the hard way. I swear if I had my legs, I'd be Or else what, huh? Or else what? Oh my god. I want to knock this nigga out myself, bro. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, bro. I'm just messing with you. Hey, hey. Remember how you got in this chair? Hmm? Couldn't do anything about it back then. Sure as heck can't do anything about it now. Oh, uh, by the way. I told Coach that kid was too scrawny to be on the team anyways, so... Better luck next time, buddy. <laughs> oh, nah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my bad, man. Did I mess up your sneaks? You're gonna regret Oh, are you serious, dude? We were for the game this week. These niggas soft as hell. Did you just purposely run over Dominic's foot? Oh my god, of course no, the, Dominic, of course the white teacher goes, she's gonna, <laughs> she gonna look at it no other way but that. But you Man's can't in the wheelchair. <laughs> Seriously. Thanks. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> The lights flickering is oh crazy my gosh. on day one. <laughs> I can't believe it took you this long to come home. I told you that I could have picked you up. I can take care up. of myself. I don't need you to baby me, Mom. You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, honey. Could you do me a favor? We're out of salt. Could you ask Paul if we could borrow some? No, no, I'm not doing that. Please. I made your favorite sausage tortellini, but it needs some salt. I've had sausage tortellini before. It'll take too long good. for me to go to the store. It is pretty good. Would you please just do this for me? Please. <laughs> and now the light going out gonna make me think Joker sitting at the end of the hallway <laughs> in this kind of environment. <laughs> Why so serious? <laughs> Khalil, what can I do for you, buddy? My mom wants to know if she can borrow some salt. Sure, come on in. Oh, those are some kids I used to work with over at the church. Used to? Landlord just kept raising the rent. I couldn't keep up, and uh, eventually I lost the church. Stuff happens to everybody, my boy. That's what he's realizing. Like football? Real life problems happen with everybody. Supposed man. to get a full ride. Maybe even go pro. That was a dream, at least, but... It's all gone now. I'm really sorry to hear that. But you know what they say, when one door closes, another, one another opens. opens. Sometimes the most painful moments in life are actually blessings in disguise. He right? ain't lying. Because my career being killed overnight and my legs not working were really just some kind of blessing in disguise. How are you so positive, man? I mean, you lost your church. That isn't haunt you. I may have lost my church, but that didn't keep me from helping people and working with kids. Did you ever try to play any other sports since? You're kidding, right? In case it's not obvious, sports are kind of out the window for me. Oh, but that's not true. 
There's so many other things that you could still do. Like archery. Wheelchair basketball. Chess. You know how to play? I'm nice at chess. I yeah, ain't gonna lie to y'all. I told y'all this in a video recently. Actually I'm is. going crazy at chess. Like, you ain't nobody fucking with me. There's a lot of strategy involved as you move across the board. Kind of like football. But the best sport that he's not naming right now is gaming. You can literally become a sweat like me on Call of Duty, my boy. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. You feel me? I would definitely become a streamer. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. And when you give your mom the salt, why don't you give her a little sugar as well? Uh, figuratively. I know you're going through a lot, but remember, it's hard on her too. This is my room. Oh, come on, Khalil. You always used to have dinner with me. Yeah, and I also used to be able to use my legs. Some things change. If you want, you can pick me up from school tomorrow. That's the little bit of sugar he left. Are you sure you don't need anything else before I go back to work? I'm working a double tonight, so I'll be home late. Be fine. You go to the library. Maybe they have a computer you can use. Oh, don't forget, I can't pick you up tomorrow. I have to work and I will let you use the car, but until we get it adjusted, I I'll figure it out. Wait, so people. Hold up, hold up. People that are in wheelchairs, like this is me seriously asking guys, people that are in wheelchairs can still drive? Because if that's the case, I did not know that. I mean, of course, like if their legs don't work, their legs don't work. But I mean, you can still move your ankle and your foot, right? So, huh. But do you have that much control over your ankle and your foot if you can't feel your legs? Because hey, the nerves it. are supposed to go through your through from your body down to, through your legs or your feet. Realize. I'm so, so sorry about that. Somebody please educate me that on that if you guys know. It's no problem. Did this uh, happen recently? Uh, well, a bully at his school thought it would be a good idea to wail a ball at his face. It gave him a cataract, and Dang. we're trying to come up with the money for surgery to remove it, since insurance doesn't cover it, but the procedure is expensive, to say the least. Hey, uh, Gavin? Believe me when I say that I can relate to you in more ways than you think. I, I'm Khalil, by the way. Hey, Khalil. Sorry again for bumping into you. It's all good. I live nearby, so uh, hopefully we bump into each other again. Come on. I mean, hey. see so you're into chess. Uh, we're actually going to be hosting a big chess tournament here next month. In case you're interested in signing up, there's going to be a pretty sweet grand prize. Put me in that tournament. I'm coming out with the dub, bro. I ain't playing with y'all. I ain't playing with y'all. I'm really him at chess. I'm not playing. Hey, so have you talked to Coach about the situation with State? No, not yet. But honestly, I don't even know if I want to go. And it wouldn't be the same without you. Uh, and I don't hey, want to be losers? stuck with... 
Oh, not these losers oh, uh, again. Are you both riding home on Clue's wheelchair? Be quiet, Dom. You know, it's really sweet of you to give Miguel here a ride, just because I'm not sure his shoes can handle the walk home now. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you get tired of running in your mouth, at least they can run. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he gonna have to get him out of bro. <laughs> Well, I must say, the faculty here is really impressed with all the work you've been doing with the after-school program. I'm delighted to hear that. The kids have been a joy to work with. Right yeah. this way. Um. I spoke to your mother on the phone and she's not able to join us for the meeting. However, she is very, very concerned about your behavior, as am I. <laughs> I used to be in the office too, what like this when I was young, yourself, now, young okay? <laughs> but he's just getting caught at the wrong time at the wrong place. Like he needs to just be honest and tell them what's going on. Like if you're being bullied, bro, like you just need to come you need to open up about it if if you're if your anger is getting out of control and you're not in a position to do anything about that, even with having your anger, then at that point, like you need to go get help. Like that's the next best thing to do. If you can't handle it yourself, which you handling it yourself isn't always the best idea. Okay. At Dominic's car. <clears throat> what on earth would make you do such a thing? Considering the incident in the hallway and now this. You're suspended. I have grounds to suspend you. Whatever. All right, if that's the case, then yes. Pastor Paul, I'm in the middle of a meeting right now. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I'm Khalil's neighbor, and I know he's going through a lot. Please give him another chance. Please, I can work with him on my own time after school to mentor him. Please. Considering your track record with the other students, I... No, no, I don't want to... They'll say yes, or you'll get suspended. Just imagine how your mom will feel. I know you care about her. I appreciate you giving me the chance to work with you. Well, I really had a choice. Well, let's just jump right in then. Most of your frustrations, understandably so, stem from your injury. I think I remember you saying it's from football. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what happened? There's no way. Football is a dangerous sport, boy. Khalil. I don't want to talk about it. I completely understand. I'm not going to pressure you. However, I would like for us to look at this situation in a different light. When terrible things happen to us, it's easy for the negativity to take over our lives. He ain't That's lying. why it's so important to see the positive, because sometimes the negatives are actually blessings in disguise. Come on, man, enough with all that positivity crap. I'm serious, Khalil. You can look at any bad situation that happens to you and see the good in it. Like that church example that I told you about before. All right. And tell me how losing our house and moving into this busted building is secretly a blessing in disguise. Well, I met you as my neighbor and I got you out of getting suspended. I'd say that's a blessing. 
you being injured will likely make you more sympathetic to others with disabilities that are going through a tough time. You may be even able to coach them. And like I said before, there's no reason why you can't find other things that you're good at or more passionate <coughs> about than football. Right. Did you look into chess? I mean, I had to find something else to be passionate about outside of basketball. Like after I had like the injury that I had in college and stuff playing and I had to work my ass off just to even just I had to bro. I had to work my ass off to become a, a athlete in general. Um, I wasn't just naturally born with the gift. So I had to put a lot of work in in my early teenage years to to uh, when I hit my growth spurt, of course, getting up to like six, five. So I had to put in a lot of work, twice as much work as people to be in shape and all of those things, be on the basketball team, a starter, all of those things. And then I even had to, I, didn't, I never got a scholarship when I went to college. I had to I, I walk. I tried out for the team and was able to walk on to a D1 school hooping. So. With that being said, and then I also had like my injury as well. So like I, I had my, I broke my ankle, the ball joint in my ankle. I got four screws in my right ankle, um, and I also put on weight over that time uh, with uh, with that injury as well. And that's kind of how like I ended up creating content and stuff in a sense. Like I had to find something else to do and be passionate about because at that point my basketball dream started late anyway. And then even like after that, like. I didn't really like have the chance or opportunity to even become a professional athlete in general. So I started doing content and then, you know, th different things happen for me. So what he's what he's telling y'all right now in this video is true. Like sometimes blessings, uh, sometimes bad things can be blessings in disguise for you. A little bit, but um, I don't even have a chessboard to practice with. Or computer. Too broke. Here, you can have mine. For real? Yeah. I'll even show you how to play during our sessions. How does that sound? Me too, having hear your lecture. So these are the pawns. This is the king. Yep. The queen. Queen. The bishops. The rooks. All right. Let me turn this uh, music off because I ain't trying to get copyrighted. You guys know every Darman video has a. Uh, uh, Dan, they got chess books. <laughs> I'm not surprised they got chess books, but I've never, I've never actually like read a chess book or anything. I don't like reading books in general, guys. I'm more of a listener. I would rather listen to something than reading. Um, without with that being said, also though. I was in chess club when I was a freshman in high school. That's how I even ever got into chess. And I remember I was the first one to beat our chess instructor in the class. And when I did that, I got free Papa John's on the house. I remember it like it was yesterday, man. Um, overall, like chess to me is fun. I don't like checkers. Like checkers is so mid. Chess is really more of a strategy game and a thinking game. Uh, and I actually be playing chess online against people on like this chess app that I use um, on my iPad. And I'd be talking to people on there. They'd be people that saying they just got out of prison and they're playing chess. They don't have nothing else to do. <laughs> they still got music on right now. <laughs> but if you guys if you guys play chess, let me know in the comments. Cause I mean, shit, I never find anybody that knows how to play, and uh, I could bust some people's ass for sure. Okay, is the music gonna be done yet? Like, come on, baby, is it done now? No, oh, it's not done. Okay. Okay. We're going to let the music keep on going through the Darn Man video. He becoming a master chess player. I ain't going to lie. Watching chess is crazy, but hey, that low key just gave me an idea. Okay. The music's still going, bro. Damn. I'm about to skip it in a second. But look, that, that low key, what if I did a, what if I, when I get older, when I get older, I'm either going to golf or I'm going when I'm done gaming, but that's another, you know, 10 plus years from now. Okay. I'm either going to be, uh, uh, golfing or I'm going to have, or maybe I can just host like a live streams where I just play chess against people. And it's just, it just shows our hands playing chess type shit and <laughs> no commentary chess, no commentary, just like my call of duty channel. Okay, bro. All right. I'm, I'm fast forwarding y'all. Cause they, okay. Like <laughs> the music's still going. This is a long part of the video. 
There we go. All right. <laughs> Let's get back into regular things. My man's Khalil more happy Mind now. If I sit with you. <laughs> Not at all. I'd be honored to sit with the world's newest chess champion in the county. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so it seems that you found something new that you are really good at and that you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I actually love chess, like even more than football. I never would have known that had I not gotten injured. I guess it's true what they say. When one door closes, another opens. Goosebumps. Sometimes life's most painful moments are actually blessings in this case. Well, listen to you, Mr. Positivity. All right, All right whatever. <laughs> so, have you thought about what you're going to do with the prize money? Like, maybe buy yourself a car that you can drive. Actually, I have something else in mind. Oh, hey, Charlotte, before you go, got something for you. What is this? Can't say. Go get that surgery, Khalil. Oh my God. Oh my God, Kevin, it's a check for $10,000. Mm. I just got goosebumps, boy. <laughs> 10 G's and bros in his situation paralyzed, and he gonna turn around and do that for the boy? Damn, that's crazy. How much was the prize money? I didn't even look. So he gave up 10 racks. Now he buying shoes, new cleats for his boy. Let me find out he bought the church too for um for a uh, uh, pastor. I forget his name. Damn that that tre that chest uh I I didn't see I didn't happen to see how much that chess tournament was worth but uh that made me want to enter a chess tournament hold up bro hold up because he just he just came up I ain't gonna lie but before I get up out of here if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel I will be posting a video over there later on tonight after this one I greatly appreciate all the support I've been receiving over there in general and also if you guys play chess let me know in the comment section down below man I'm very interested to know and uh that does it for this one I will see you guys in the next one baby we are out. Peace.